Hi, my name is Deontay Chapman, and I am an RBT at Brett DeNovi & Associates. In today's video, I will be going over the five things every RBT should know when working in schools. First, let's define what an RBT is. An RBT is short for a Registered Behavior Technician. The role of an RBT is to work under the supervision of a BCBA while providing quality services, maintaining ethical practices, and implementing the science of ABA to serve clients and learners within schools, homes, and in the community. RBTs work on skill acquisition, daily living skills, discrimination training, behavior reduction, functional communication, and other areas of applied behavior science, all while collecting accurate data and providing a safe environment. Now, let's jump into it, starting with number one, dress code. Every RBT registered behavior technician should adhere to a professional standard of dress code. This typically means wearing appropriate attire that is clean, neat, and reflects a professional image. Remember, you are not only representing the company you work for, but also the hard work of holding a state license of an RBT. The specific dress code may vary depending on the organization or workplace, but it generally involves avoiding casually or overly revealing clothing and opting for more formal or business casual attire. Now, there are some exceptions on special dress up days, such as holiday parties, casual Fridays, and field days. This ensures you are fitting in and pairing with the culture of the school you support. Number two, greetings. It is important for an RBT to maintain a strong rapport with school staff because it sets the tone for the kind of positive support you want to provide. No greeting is too small and no admin is too big to receive it. Greetings and rapport building should be done with all staff. This includes secretaries, teachers, janitors, principals, and of course, the students. By providing a greeting, you allow pairing to occur and your role as a school support stands a better chance of being welcome. Number three, keep your data tight and area clean. RBTs are responsible for collecting and maintaining accurate data related to their clients' behaviors and progress. It is crucial to keep this data organized, secure, and confidential. RBTs should follow the protocols for data storage, whether that be keeping it in a folder, a binder, handing it to the classroom teacher, or just simply attaching it to the clipboard. Additionally, maintaining a clean and organized workspace is important for efficiency and professionalism. If your area is clean, you begin to set the expectation for not only yourself and your credentials, but for those around you. Number four, stay out of the gossip. Engaging in gossip or spreading rumors can create a negative work environment and damage professional relationships. RBTs should refrain from participating in gossip and focus on maintaining a positive and respectful atmosphere. It may be hard to avoid at times, but always steer conversation into matters you can control or shared interest topics, such as favorite TV show, or even preferred hobbies. All in all, it is best to avoid discussing personal or sensitive matters about colleagues, clients, or supervisors unless it is directly relevant to the job and necessary for communication. This keeps the environment positive, professional, and controlled. And lastly, number five, maintaining ethical practices. RBTs are expected to follow ethical guidelines and professional standards in their line of work, especially when it comes to school systems. This includes respecting client confidentiality, maintaining appropriate boundaries with clients, adhering to the principles of informed consent, and avoiding any conflicts of interest. RBT should also engage in ongoing professional development to stay updated on ethical standards and best practices in their field. This list will ensure professionalism, respect, and ethical behavior within the role of an RBT. By adhering to these principles, RBTs can contribute to a positive work environment and provide effective services to their clients. I hope you like our five list of the five things every RBT should know when working in schools. Please like and subscribe to help keep disseminating the science.